as a professor, I was getting paid a lot of money to go across the country and consult about changing cultures in school, solid pedagogy, the use of technology to impact student achievement without ever having actually done it. And so I thought, I want to see if this is possible. And five years later, the good news is that it is not without struggle and challenges. And, but we have grown tremendously in the past five years. They're the only fifth grade team in the country that kind of took on this task of piloting the personalized learning platform. And um, they're happy not to be the only one next year. And now they get to partner with other Providence schools and other schools in California and, and really like sit and reflect and iterate, iterate, iterate. That's what they've done best is, is change it up. And I think that's why their student achievement um, is where it is right now, which is amazing. Teachers have way more choice in voice. Um, uh, uh, students had more choice in voice, um, how they approach their learning. Um, I didn't know a lick about blended learning when I came here. Um, teachers were just implementing blended learning for math, um, using station rotation, um, you know, just for math. So when I came on in, in, um, after I, you know, about three quarters of the way through the first year, we said, hey, you know, would this work for, for reading during our reading block? And um, at the time, we were still pretty much expected to follow the Reading Street program to fidelity. And teachers were a little bit leery on whether or not they should, you know, kind of veer away a little bit and try something different. And, you know, with Dr. G as our, um, as our administrator, she's like, go ahead, try it, try it, see if it works. So, um, you know, some teachers started, you know, just a couple of days a week trying station rotation during the Reading Street block, and it worked. Um, and then other teachers would come and say, hey, is that working for you? I'm going to try that. Um, and now we have just about, you know, every teacher um, implementing blended learning during reading as well as in math. If you look at our scores from first, second, third, and fifth grade, fourth grade is a bit of an outlier. But in each of those grade levels, we have a higher percentage of kids who are above grade level than on. Which, and then when you look at fifth grade, the proficiency rates are phenomenal. I mean, right now, as those kids sit about to go into middle school, 80% of all fifth graders are on or above benchmark, according to STAR. And furthermore, of that 80%, 60% are above benchmark grade level, which is, is pretty phenomenal.